Good evening. I hereby call the uh, Monday, December 16th, at being 7 p.m., Finance Committee uh, to order. Uh, we'll go right in. It's a pretty short agenda tonight. We'll go right into agenda item number one, please, Madam Clerk. Reappointment of Lohan S.O. Moriara as constable in the city of Brockton for a term of three years. Invited, Lohan S.O. Moriara. Council Farwell. Move to table. Second. So um, a motion uh, to table is properly second. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. The matter is hereby tabled. Go on to number two, please. Ordered that the mayor be authorized to accept on behalf of the city of Brockton a parcel of land consisting of 2,609 square feet, more or less, located at 700 Oak Street, owned by Brockton Oak Street LLC, more particularly described as parcel A, as shown on plan of land, Oak Street, Brockton, Mass., dated January 11, 2019, and recorded with the Plymouth County Registry of Deeds in Plan Book 63, page 661, on June 28, 2019. Said conveyance will correct an encroachment of the city sidewalk upon the property owned by Brockton Oak Street, LLC. Invited, Rob May, Director of Planning and Economic Development, Lawrence Rowley, Commissioner of DPW, Chike Odwe, City Engineer. Mr. Planner, good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you um, for being here. And council, happy holidays. Um, as we rebuilt, or we build the new Cumbies on Oak Street, um, Oak Street has gotten so wide over the years that we've lost enough space to build a new, uh, to rebuild the sidewalk and to make it uh, ADA accessible. So they are um, donating a certain strip of land back to the city that we can, that they will build their sidewalk, their sidewalk on for us. Excellent. And I know we have the city engineer is here as well. I know Mr. Hill is here on behalf of Mr. Rowley. Councilors, um, Mr. Mr. May just gave us a good synopsis. Any questions for any of these? Move favorable. Second. second. Motion on the floor is properly second. So favorable back to the full council. If you're in favor, raise your hand. If you're opposed, raise your hand. Favorable back to the full city council. Thank you. Thank Go on you. to number three, please. Ordered. Acceptance and expenditure of the grant award in the amount of $150,000 from Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection Clean Water State Revolving Fund, mm. CWSRF Grant Fund. Invited Tori Clarkson, Chief Financial Officer, Lawrence Rowley, Commissioner of DPW. We have Mr. Hill and Mr. Clarkson. Good evening, Mr. Hill. Good evening. So this is a, uh, it's a, um, $250,000 grant, uh, $150,000 of that grant is um, free funds for the city, $50,000 of that grant we have uh, in-kind services and $50,000 in cash. Um, we're gonna update our uh, stormwater GIS system, which is mandated by the new MS4 uh, permit. Um, the GIS as it exists today is about 60% complete. This will uh, put that to rest and complete the rest of it. It's about 9,000 catch basins, 300 miles of uh, stormwater pipes. Um, it'll uh, give us the ability to identify problem areas and uh, uh, plan for the future upgrades. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Hill. Any questions for Mr. Hill? Motion. Second. Second. Motion on the floor. It was properly second. It's favorable. Back to the full council. If you're in favor, kindly raise your hand. If you pause, raise your hand. It carries back favorable to the full city council. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Hill. Um, councilors, um, that's it for tonight, but I do first of all want to publicly thank um, uh, Mayor Rodriguez and his wife, Maria Rodriguez. Um, the 125th City Hall Anniversary Gala the other night, uh, almost all of us uh, attended. It was fantastic. It was what Brockton's all about. There was young, old, it was multicultural. It was great. It was a great night. I do want to thank Mrs. Rodriguez. She spent hours and hours. She had many other volunteers, um, but, but she really, uh, she cheerleaded that, and it was a wonderful success. So um, hope to have many, many more here. Uh, there wasn't one complaint, one complaint. And everybody behaved. There was a lot of dancing. Uh, our new concert at large was cutting the rug. I learned from her. Um, anything else before us tonight? No, no, you go first. Councilor, please. Uh, okay. Floor right, thank you. No, I, I wanted to mention there was other activities, too, that took place in the past week, and we wanted to, uh, the 21st Jingle Bell Run took place, a lot of volunteers on that, and as usual, um, a great deal of fun was, were raised, and again, this is uh, Dave and Judy Gorman, and uh, many other people that come out there for this, and in the meanwhile, you had Ollie Spears and his team with um, Officer Rosie Vasquez-Brown, and many other people
people, Debbie Garland, Linda P. Antonio, Donna Jones, you know, collecting for the kids and for the toy, uh, you know, the toy drive, and uh, extremely successful. And there were a lot of other volunteers that helped out uh, last Wednesday night when um, the library, and along with uh, Grizel and Tito, uh, I don't pronounce the last Bonnies. name properly, but yes. um, they did a marvelous job in mobilizing it. Apparently, a lot of people had a really good time, so that was, um, I think it's all worth mentioning that uh, people are constantly dedicated to doing good things throughout the year, but in this time in particular, it's a high, you know, large focus. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Cruz, please. Thank you all. I just want to take a moment, and I, yeah. it's <clears throat> a lot of nice things that everybody's talking about tonight. I hate to end the night on a sad note, but I would like to ask for a moment of silence for a I just left one of the most well-attended wakes I've ever been to for one of the nicest people I ever knew, former city employee, Greg Faroli, passed away. Uh, Greg was one of the nicest people I've known. I've known him since I was about six years old, uh, married to Jane Croner from the school department, two of the nicest families you'll ever know, and I'd like to have a moment of silence for Greg. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thoughts and prayers with the Froley family. Thank you. Council Lally, did you have something you wanted to say? Uh, I just wanted to say a brief thank you to the auditor and her team for the last uh, two years of finance committees helping us through them. Thank you. Well, let's give them a round of applause because it's a lot of work. I also want to thank our uh, esteemed colleague, uh, Councilor Azak, uh, for this uh, gracious, uh, beautiful donation of the poinsettias. Makes it festive. Um, we will be meeting Monday night, full city council. Remember, that's the caucus night, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, uh, our new colleagues will be here as well uh, to caucus. Um, councilors, um, there is a high probability of a, a special city council meeting uh, this coming Thursday night at six o'clock. Um, you'll get noticed. We're just trying to figure out something. It would be for one agenda matter, um, so we need to try to figure that out. And I'll tell you what the agenda matter was. There was a five, a little over $5 million bond mm -hmm. uh, that we favorably back out. Um, there was two fire trucks on that bond. As you recall, we sent it back favorable to the full council. For some scrivener's reason, it didn't meet the last agenda. Um, agenda. Um, time is of the essence, um, so we, we need to potentially uh, meet this week. But again, I have to work with the city clerk and the uh, legislative council, but just, just Keep that in mind. We'd need to have a quorum if that's the case. You'll know by tomorrow, okay? okay. Anything else before us tonight? Well, uh, there's a gentleman that's just come in here. I don't know. No, no, he's with me. Oh, he's with you? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's well, supposed to be icy tomorrow, so everybody drive safe tomorrow. Uh, this meeting's here by adjourned. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you.